Forgotten cars from the 1970s that are worth remembering. Number 1. The 1970 AMC Hornet. American Motors. The smallest of the former big four automakers, produced some of the most iconic cars of the 1970s. You might be familiar with the Pacer, Gremlin, Javelin, and even the Matador. But have you heard about the Hornet? This unique-looking sedan from AMC was way ahead of its time. It was a helpful small car that came out just as people realized that big cars weren't for everyone anymore. Number 2. The 1970 Ford Maverick Since the Maverick was introduced in 1969, it hasn't received enough attention. Check out the cool style of this early 1970s car, which is like the Nissan Sentra of that time. Every car from the 1970s needs a sleek design, even if you bought it on a budget because you couldn't afford anything better. Consumer reports gave the Maverick higher ratings than its Japanese competitors. But somehow, the car community has completely forgotten about it. Number 3. The 1971 Volkswagen 411 Volkswagen wanted to bring a fancy car to the US after the success of the Beetle bus and Fastback. However, their idea of luxury was very different from what Americans were used to. The 411 was one of the most modern Volkswagens at that time, with a suspension system based on the Super Beetle. Even with regular metallic paint and carpeting throughout, it still couldn't compete with Cadillac. When it comes to one luxury expectation of Americans, Volkswagen was spot on by including an automatic transmission as standard. However, paired with an 80 horsepower Volkswagen engine, the 411 fell short in delivering the acceleration Americans desire in a luxury car. Volkswagen ceased selling the Type 4 to Americans in 1974. Number 4. The 1972 Ford Torino The Torino and Grand Torino were Ford's mid-sized cars, going head-to-head -head with GM's Attract. They served various purposes, from cool muscle coupes, like those in the popular TV show Starsky and Hutch, to family wagons with wood paneling, to practical yet unremarkable sedans. Its Italian name suggested a style that would appeal to everyone, combining the curves from the 60s with the blocky styling of the 70s. The Torino was produced from 1972 to 1977, when it was replaced by the LTD2. Number 5. The 1973 Oldsmobile Omega have you ever wondered why people didn't get too upset about badge engineering products when they first came out? That's because initially it wasn't as bad. A good example of this is Oldsmobile's Omega. An Oldsmobile version of the common as Houseflies Chevrolet Nova. This was a reliable car from the 1970s that had its own unique features. The Buick Apollo, another forgotten car, would later join Oldsmobile. That's all. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell for future video notifications.